One of the first places that plastics went was into blood bags. Up through the 1940s, the way that blood was banked was in glass bottles. Blood would be drawn from patients with metal syringes stuck into their arms. The blood would be drawn through rubber tubing into a rubber stopper and then into a glass bottle. And there were a lot of problems with that system. And this Harvard surgeon named Carl Walter started to think about an alternative to this. He got interested in this new plastic called polyvinyl chloride, or PVC. And Walter started experimenting with it, and he eventually developed this bag that was able to store blood. And he showed it off to his colleagues. He like brought it into a meeting and put it on the floor and stamped on it to show them that it was not breakable. And it was just a way better system. And by the mid-60s, it was pretty standard. The assumption when they were developed was that this was inert, stable material. And as far back as the early 1970s, it started to become clear that the plasticizer used in PVC, the stuff that makes it so pliable and so flexible and so useful, actually can leach out of it. These plasticizers, one that's used in particular, works differently than other chemicals that can affect health. They affect the endocrine system, that affect the way your body processes hormones in ways that have an impact on health. 